Hello, my name is Steve Blaze, and today I'm going to show you part two of inserting a YouTube video. In this particular uh, use of YouTube, we're going to make sure it's uh, we're actually going to download the file from YouTube. And uh, there's a couple different ways you're going to do this. Uh, I'd use the website method, but there are softwares that you can download um, on your computer and actually use that way as well. I'm being I'm going to use uh, the site called Keepvid today. So first thing you're going to do is create a new slide for your video that you want to grab. Go to YouTube. I'm going to use the same video I used last time. Copy. Then you're going to go to a site called Keepvid. But if you just did a Google search for uh, YouTube video downloader, you'd be able to find many others. This one works consistently well for me though. So in the URL box here, I'm just going to paste the video URL. I'm going to select download. Take a few seconds. And you'll notice you'll get several different options in terms of quality depending on uh, how, how, how high of a quality you want. If it's something where image is very important, you can get up to uh, high definition quality on certain videos. Uh, for today, I'm just going to uh, download a medium quality here. You can download F, uh, FLV file or MP4. I'm going to download FLV fly, file. And you notice, depending on the time, see I have about 34 seconds that I have and counting until the video downloads. And once the video downloads, we'll be able to uh, select video here. And we're going to import asset. We just got a few seconds left, and we should be able to see that video file. I'm going to select import asset. Now remember, the purpose of this video is to be able to have uh, offline use, not rely on a web connection if you're showing any videos you grab from YouTube. So I'm going to go to uh, my drive, select downloads, and it's right here. Should be FLV. It'll say keepvid.com next to it. You can always rename that. Select open. Depending on the size of the file, it'll tell you. You know how long it'll take approximately to watch a progress meter here and just note up here I have uh, 1.2 gigs available of storage and obviously the little green section here represents how much I've actually used so only 40 megs I try to embed videos as much as possible I only uh, download the videos when I know I'm going to be like off offline showing a uh, presentation so again, we're just waiting for this video to download. Once it's done, we're just going to either double-click the video or um, you can select, select the video and then select Add Asset. In another second, we'll see that video. I just clicked it, and there it is. Now, I can't disconnect from the Internet here, but um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see this tutorial. But you, if you're on a netbook, you can just unplug your uh, or disconnect your Wi-Fi, and that would be a good test. But this is the actual video file that I've downloaded. So if you're offline, you'd be able to use it. Just to show you it works, there's the video playing. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to uh, grab audio from a YouTube video in case of uh, you just want the audio and not the video, like for. Uh, any sort of music videos. Thanks for checking this out and check back often.